All right, I'm back here at my cleaning station. I'm gonna show you how I clean these collars. A lot of people would put them in a big sink like this, just fill it up with water and then just soak the collars in the water. And then the sand, you know, flows to the bottom. You just kind of agitate them in the water and the sand kind of flows to the bottom. And that's how they clean them. But I, I do a little different because uh, all these look pretty clean. Sometimes dirt will accumulate here on this little central stem. And so I like to prep wash it off with some uh, a good hose of water. So I'm going to do that and show you how I clean them. So Well, that one's looking a little ragged so I'm not gonna use that one it just doesn't look really healthy so I got plenty of them and this is the way I go about cleaning them now you this big fast stem here is really tough so you don't want to use that so I just take scissors and cut it out now I've seen people take and peel them off the stem um, I've done that but it kind of shreds the leaves up a little bit more than I like uh, so I just do it this way. It doesn't take but a second to go rip through this stuff with a pair of scissors You could use a knife. I'm sure if you want, but I got a nice polyurethane counter here And I don't want to be cutting into it with a knife So I just run the scissors through there as you see this goes really fast and then After you cut it up You just line them up like that and then you roll them in this case you can fold it in half if you want or you can roll it the other way then you just roll these guys up and then you cut them in, into equal equal portions so you do that with your scissors and you got the roll here so you just say we'll cut these into thirds And just trim them off and then you've got pretty much equal size collards in your pan already so we'll show you that again one two three and you can get your cut marks and just cut it around and if you want them a little smaller you can you know cut them four times uh, but I like them a little about this size here so you just cut that down like that and here the last one you just cut right through it you got, got one two you got this long ribbon here three and look at there I got a little pan full of them already I got a bunch of them I already did earlier that uh that I don't have on video that are in another pan and just wanted to show you how I do that so that's it for uh, cleaning the collars and then then I'm going to soak these collars in the refrigerator uh, for oh about four hours I'm going to fill them up with water I got one in there right now filled with water and covered and what that does is it gets all the chlorophyll out of the leaves and you'll see when I pour the on a little later video today when I pour some of the water out that they've been soaking and you'll see how green that water is and I just don't uh, like them that way so some people may not wa soak their collards I don't know but I do and I like them that way and every time I cook them everybody I serve them they love them and, you know they can't get enough so of course I'm gonna put some ham in there I'm gonna show you how I do all that I'm gonna have a complete video here today this is I showed you how I cut them earlier this is how I clean them and then I'm gonna show you how I cook them and I'll even probably show you how I eat them. <laughs> so that's it. This is uh, February 7th. It's a beautiful day out. As you can see, here's 